Well, hello, Shoreline. This is your uh, devotional for Wednesday, April 29th. I'm going to be reading from Psalm 86, the first seven verses. And I want to encourage you just to listen, to kind of quiet your heart. Whatever's gone on today, whatever's been happening, just kind of quiet your heart and let the prayer of the psalmist become your prayer. Hear me, Lord, answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call on you. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I'm in distress, I call to you because you answer me. What a declaration of faith. You answer me. Just a couple thoughts from this psalm. First, we need to say to God, God, I need you. Tell God that. The psalmist says, God, I'm in a time of need and cries out honestly to God. Whatever your need is right now, talk to God about it. A financial need, a relational tension, just personal anxiety and fears, whatever it is, bring your need to God. He cares about you and he's listening for your prayers. And then the psalmist says, guard me, save me. We can pray that prayer. Lord, guard me, protect me through whatever I'm walking through right now. Watch over me, protect me. And then I want to encourage you to remember. Remember his forgiveness. Remember his goodness. The psalmist says, God, I remember how you forgive. I remember how good you are to me. In a time like this, remember the grace of Jesus. If you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, if you come to the cross and confess your sins, he has forgiven you. Whatever happens in this life, your sins are gone through faith in Jesus Christ. And remember his goodness. Boy, in a time like this, just think back through, through the last year, through the last five years, the last 10 years, how has been God been good? How has God shown up? How has God revealed his face and his goodness? Think about those things. Remember those things and say, God, I remember your goodness. I want to lead you in prayer today. And here's what I, how I want to pray today. Let's pray for a good memory. Memories of his forgiveness, his grace, and his goodness. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you that your love surrounds us, that your forgiveness is astounding and powerful, that your goodness is never ending. Help us have good memories. Help us remember all you've done and who you are. Lord, in difficult times, sometimes it's easy for us just to get fixated on what's going wrong and forget your faithfulness, not just to us, but through all generations. So Lord, give us a good memory and good memories of who you are and what you have done. And let us walk in a trust and a confidence because God, you are good. You extend your grace and you love your children. Let that overwhelm us today and in the days ahead, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, right now, Pastor Sean, our chief of staff at Shoreline Church, is going to give you some updates on what's happening in the life of your church and just listen to what he has to share with you. And I'll be back with you again on Friday. Well, hello, Shoreline. It's Wednesday, April 29th. And for this week's update, I want to extend a special invitation for tonight at seven o'clock. We have a webinar with Pastor Roy, who's going to be sharing about the five love languages. This is how you give and how you receive love. And in that, Pastor Roy is going to help us better understand that and then how we can apply that in our lives, in our relationships with others. So again, tonight at seven o'clock, that special webinar hosted by Pastor Roy. One other encouragement for this week, I want to encourage you, if you've not yet done so, to consider downloading the Shoreline app onto your mobile device. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, whether you're at the office and you're working, or whether you're at home and sheltering in place, or whether you're out in a place like this just enjoying the beauty of God's creation, you can take the Shoreline app with you on your mobile device. And on the Shoreline app, you're going to find a tremendous amount of resources, resources like our most recent sermons, where you can download download those sermons. You can actually listen to the sermons. You can watch those sermons. You also will find what's going on in the life of Shoreline, what upcoming events, ways that you can serve at Shoreline, and ways that you can give at Shoreline. That's the Shoreline app. I want to encourage you to consider downloading that this week. 
Well, Shoreline, I encourage you as well this week, would you please join us on Sunday as we continue our sermon series called Standing Strong, where Pastor Kevin will bring a message that will encourage you and also inspire you to perhaps maybe invite others to join us online for our Sunday services. So Shoreline, that's the update for this week. Stand strong, stay healthy, and stay connected to Shoreline Church. God bless you and have a wonderful week.